It's impossible to say how many millions of people would have lost their lives if it weren't for this man, Dr. Charles Drew. I certainly would have liked to met the man. He is a giant in our industry. Dr. Drew revolutionized the blood banking industry, and he's responsible for discovering and developing many blood banking techniques that are still used today. He was one of the pioneers that discovered that basically you can remove the plasma, liquid portion of blood, and actually lyophilize, freeze-dry plasma and store those proteins for prolonged periods of time. And really it was breakthrough technology in terms of being able to provide some kind of a transfusion support with protein during war efforts. Before this discovery, red blood cells could not be stored for more than a couple of days at a time. Dr. Drew was instrumental in doing some of the research and some of the work having to do with the stabilization and preservation of blood cells. Some of the solutions that we use, the anticoagulant preservative solutions, were the groundwork was done by Dr. Drew and we have further expanded on that to develop new solutions that have allowed longer storage of blood. He did a lot of the discovery work that basically allowed us to create what we call cross-matching or compatibility testing. Dr. Drew established the first blood bank in England and one at Columbia University in New York. He also organized a system of volunteer blood donors and centralized the collection of donated blood where he processed the blood and separated out the plasma. Where would blood banking be if it were not for Charles Drew? I don't think we'd be as advanced as we are today. Certainly much of the pioneering work of the technology that we use today was developed by Dr. Charles Drew. Dr. Drew's life was cut short on April 1st of 1950 when he was in a car accident that left him in need of blood. There, there's a great deal of misconception with regard to the demise of Dr. Drew. Certainly it's undeniable that he was in a serious automobile accident and had lost a lot of blood at the site of injury, was taken to the hospital, and certain reports were that he actually got some transfusions but actually bled to death because of the lack of adequate blood to meet his requirements. Dr. Drew died while working to save the lives of others. In 1981, the U.S. Postal Service issued a stamp in the Great American Series in his honor. He is the first African American to receive a postdoctoral degree from Columbia University. He is considered to be one of the most honored and respected figures in the medical field. And he is a local hero because his discoveries have literally saved millions of lives worldwide. I'm Nancy Gay reporting.